What's up guys, Loose here. So I'm about to be making some elk hide drums, 15 inch drums. Right now I'm just soaking them. So the first one soaks overnight. The second one I leave in for two nights. And towards the end of the video, I actually lose a little bit of footage because it cuts out on me because of storage issues on my phone. So I ended up taking some videos out on my phone and, you know, did the, the end of it, finished it, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I explained the rest of it in the last clip, so here we go. What's up guys? So I got some elk hide and I did one. Let me get the other one I did. This skin's a little bit rougher than the other one. But this is the one I did yesterday. And yeah, I watched a few videos, got a couple tips from you know, here and there videos. So, what I'm gonna do is pretty much the same way I did this one with this one. So, what you want is like a number that's gonna be divisible by four or, yeah, it's four because you got that cross here, right? So basically you got four sections. So here, so here's a set of holes. It's two, four, six, eight. So that's four right there. So that's this handle. And this handle, same thing. One, two, three, four. So it's six. But to save time, I'm gonna try for three. So we're gonna go two, four, six. Two, four, six, and then that will be, so that's three, six, nine, 12, right? Two, four, six, six, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 holes total. So we're gonna see if we can do it that way. So 24, let me just get a piece of paper, but yeah, here's the finish. Get a piece of paper, draw a circle, you know what I mean, and then put the 24 holes there. So I kind of get an idea of what it looks like, but for the most part, you just uh, let me just get the first two holes. But yeah, this is a 15 inch drum round, so and I haven't quite measured the height. So, what I'm thinking since it's 15, close to 15 you probably want about a good three inches so if this is 15 this might be 18 the higher i just need to get my measuring tape real quick later i ain't that important but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting holes here and we'll just see if we can get what was it again was it 12 holes Anyways, I think it was 32 total last time, 32 holes. So, uh, I'm not gonna mess with that, I'm just gonna leave it. So yeah, this is like the out part, outside of the skin right here. And we got the inside of the skin. So the stuff that tore away from the muscles is right there. So I'm gonna try to work fast with this because when I was working with this one, the other one last night, like honestly, I was afraid of the freaking drum like drying up on me, the hive. So I do believe it's still on the same setting. 
And then I'll get to the lace here in a second. But this was soaking for like two days. Uh, pretty close to 24 hours. So let's say deer hide and elk hide. It might be just elk hide. You can soak for like two days. But if you soak, I forget which one it is. It might be deer hide or go hide like uh, a little bit longer. I think it's go hide. Like if you soak it for more than an hour, like it just will be easier to rip. But elk hide and deer hide, you should be all right for letting it soak for like two days. All right, so there's the first two. And then what I'm gonna do, match these holes to these holes somewhat and if you look at that it's pretty fucking freaking close like you can almost see through it that's like perfect right there like perfect like insanely perfect so next two so it's about maybe a half inch from this line and a half inch in. So yeah, anyways, I went and bought a pair of scissors because I was making this stuff right here. I was talking about that, how to make that in a second. But that pair of scissors cost like freaking 15 bucks. I was definitely not gonna use mine, the one that I had, because I would have sat there for like two hours trying to cut that. No way, no way. Wow. But yeah, hopefully this, this won't take as long as last night. I'll put a link in the description of the videos that I watched. So, you know, go show some love to those guys. So, yeah, I go like this stuff. It must have been that one. Let's see if these ones match up. Not quite. Well... So anyways, I want two there, two there, right? Then we're gonna go here. Right there, and then right there. So these now match up with these, these match up with those. And then you put holes here. So like I said, it doesn't have to match quite, quite up, but it's just gotta be around the same area. Cause these match pretty good. And it's pretty, as yeah, symmetrical as you can get it. So, these ones don't quite match, but it'll be all right. Just make sure it didn't budge too much. I'm talking funny because I got a freaking bite plate. I got my bottom braces. Bottom braces on about a week and a couple days or so. So yeah, it's pretty weird, but I'm adjusting to it pretty good. So each time you do this, you want to line up the holes pretty much. Like, not perfectly, but they all, all the ones you have so far, Well, I guess you shouldn't line up the holes. I don't think that'll work. You probably shouldn't make that happen that way. As long as you make it, you know, even like this way, like these two match, it should be all right. So I think this is the last set of holes and then we'll put the drum 
on top of the hide. Start lacing it up. But yeah. I was gonna cut the string. The lacing went freaking crappy pair of scissors, but yeah, there's no way, man. Like, I didn't want to, but I mean, the way I look at it is I got a nice pair of scissors so it'll last for a long time, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, it just, it was like cutting a piece of paper. Like, I swear to God. <clears throat> swear to God, it was like way easier. So anyways, I don't think I need that anymore, so let's just see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's gonna be divisible by four, for sure. And then, so yeah, one of these ends, let me just untangle this, it's right here. One of these is where it's gonna be your anchor. Oh yeah, so I forgot I need to stretch this too, so. We will stretch. Stretch this and I'm gonna speed this part up real quick. Hopefully it don't break. So yeah, I did this whole freaking the last first drum standing up last night. So I guess I'm getting comfortable standing up, but I'm not gonna do that today, tonight. So yeah, some of these parts stretch pretty freaking good, man. So you gotta watch it. Some of it don't stretch. Uh, Well, I guess I don't stretch some of it. I think that's what it is. So I didn't stress the hide either yesterday. So the way I was taught to do it is you stretch the hide, like you get it like a post and you stretch it over the post, like one piece, and then you switch it and then you you just keep going until you've done that to the whole piece until it stretches. But honestly, I didn't do it last night and maybe that's why we got wrinkling on the, on the edges, but you can try to clean that up as you're going like I'll show you that part too but I think that might be why might have something to do with the sound too but anyways yeah 15 inch drums um, I'm about to put a design on at least one of them tomorrow I still got some paddles to do so pretty busy so lots of people you know want to put in some orders for some stuff you know what I mean so if you're an artist you do artwork you know how it is so yeah I just started getting back into artwork mostly mostly just artwork it's always how it seems to go you know what I mean I don't mind 
but you know what I mean? Just can't get that habit of helping out people. You know what I mean? Giving people deals, homie hookups, all that stuff. You know? So the way I do it is I used to short sell my stuff, myself, like on my pieces that I do. But I don't do that no more. So, you know, I definitely get my money's worth because I mean, I, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm a pretty good freaking artist, carver. Uh, just, you know what I mean? People get what they pay for. So it's not like I'm ripping them off. You know what I mean? I just want what I'm putting into it, right? So over the years, like, you know, it may not seem like you're taking a long time to do things because over the years, you got a lot of experience, right? So all those nights, all those days of practicing, honing your skills, you know what I mean? Just finding better ways, faster ways to do things. You know, you're developing skill, you know, all that time. So, you know, if it seems like you're working on a piece and you do it fast, like, it's not like rushing it or anything. It's just all that, all that skill, man. All that experience, shortening your time up. You know, you do something over and over, you're definitely going to pick up some time. So... You know, like I said, if it don't take that long, it doesn't mean it's cheap. A lot of skills goes into that, man. So anyways, I don't think I need this piece because I already got another piece at the end. But this is usually like an, like a tie piece or the beginning piece. Anyways, let's start it. So we got our holes. Put this over here, don't need this. Yeah, man, if you guys are watching this because you're looking for drum videos, don't forget to like. You know, I was just watching drum videos yesterday, a little bit today, too. But yeah, that's one thing I definitely want to get into now is making and selling drums. Drums, and even drum kits, you know what I mean? Like, I'll make it all like this. And then just, you know what I mean? Just wanna go into business for myself, dude. Why not, right? Be a pretty good thing to do. Plus, I mean, I'm Native American, so what better way to make money you know what I mean? Supplying, you know, all this stuff to the people who want it and use it for traditional purposes, for gifts, you know what I mean? That's a big part of Native culture is gift giving, you know what I mean? Potlatches, you know, parties. You know, making money, doing this, not just to make money but to pass on a long tradition you know what i mean help out anyone along the way who wants to learn how to do this type of stuff you know can't ask for a better deal than that like in that video uh i put a link in the bit in the description if you've seen it that guy talks about like when you're making this stuff, it's good to think about like where you're at in your life right now. Like the kind of energy you put into it, you know what I mean? It's gonna be the same kind of energy. Like whoever ends up receiving this, whether you give it away, sell it, you know, the energy transfers into the, the drum, you know? Cause the, I mean, it was either an elk or a deer. I'm pretty sure an elk, but the elk, you know, gave his life up and so it can be used we can use it anyways yeah not a bad thing to get into but let's start this So 
this part you want to measure the holes. You want to center it first before you get started. So you want them the same width from the rim, the holes. It's not going to be perfect, but you definitely don't want one side having way too big of a gap. So this needs to come up this way too. Right about there. You can never be too sure, man, on this part. You can never be too sure. So the way you want to start is let's see I think it was in through the right and out to the left so I'm gonna go and let me see this other guy like I watched two videos and one guy used me on those pliers which definitely looked like it helped out a lot so I'm gonna get those real quick Another thing I can't find, man. Let's see. Oh well, I really don't need those until the end part anyways. So I think. that until I get first line. So when you do this part you start feeding feeding line. Good thing to do is put that end here because if you start feeding the line, you start getting a pile, you're gonna have to dig for this. And that's one thing you don't want to do because then you can start tangling it up. So that's one little tip that's definitely gonna help out. So definitely Keep that in mind, you know what I mean? Because you'll definitely start doing it if you forget to do it the first time, you'll definitely start doing it. Because you will run into that same problem I did. These little slivers. This guy was a hairy guy, man. Nah, there's not really, there's no hair. I can just see like the follicles, like where where the hair actually was. Yeah, I can already feel this stuff trying to freaking dry on me. I'm wondering if there's a piece of that I haven't stretched yet. <laughs> okay, so... Make sure I pull that tight. 
Now we're gonna go across. So it's gonna go across, straight across. And I'm gonna check one more time, make sure everything has to move. So that's good. So I'm gonna go across, and like I said, I'm gonna go into the right. out to the left. So that looks like a little bit too much. kind of want to mess with it until you get a good overlap between all of them. It's not going to be perfect, but you know what I mean? How to do what you got to do. So once you're ready to go, you're going to hold a piece of the hide down here. I don't think you can see me. See that part? Hold this piece of the hide down and then pull. So again, I went in through the right and then out through the left. Just come over here. So hide that tip, man. Forget about, see, I almost just forgot about that. If you don't start doing that, you're going to forget about it, and then one of these times, it's just going to get tangled up on you, man. You ever try to untangle a freaking pair of iPods, AirPods, or whatever? I mean, that's exactly how it is. No lie. So my veins popping out right there. I see my muscle right there, my forearm, but that's what that muscle is from. If I'm doing this too much. Anyways, we almost there. So now I'm gonna come back over here. Now you don't have to make it tight right here. You just want to freaking, you know, finger tight or whatever. This might be a lot of freaking way too much rope, but I mean, it's always better to have more. So anyways, what you're gonna do the next step after you got this far, you're gonna go under to the next set. So we're going clockwise this way, pretty much. So, in to the right, out to the left. And then you want to do both holes and then pull it through. Instead of pull it through one hole and then pull it all through another hole. That's going to be a lot. That's going to be a lot of freaking pulling, man. So. I like to do is put it right here.
starts to bunch up right here. It's just gonna freaking knot up everywhere. I might have cut this a little bit too thick, but it's still gonna work. might be because it's drying. If you guys want to try a spray bottle, I bet you that will work just to keep it damp. You know what I mean? I bet you that'll work. It's all going to dry anyways, sooner or later. Let me see. I don't even know if I got a spray bottle. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't hurt to try it out, guys. So just try a spray bottle, you know what I mean? Because certain point of drying which it's a little freaking hue or not humid but it's a little warm in here I don't got my heat around but I live in an apartment complex so you know there's people below me to the sides of me I'm pretty sure they all got the heater going it's winter time the good thing about being in between a bunch of people is freaking get that penguin effect going on guys but yeah Keep a spray bottle, I'm pretty sure it'll work. So again, you don't have to make it tight, just want it snug. And then we're going back, and every time we go back, we're going under. Under the lines. So now in the right, out to the left. So now you're going to get this part. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. main thing is like if you ever you know you want consistency consistency all the way across the whole length of the the lace but you know what I mean you're gonna have skinny pieces and then fatter pieces so the skinny you want to cut them a little bit thicker you know what I mean fatter pieces you don't have to cut as thick so now we should be where we started from. That's where we started from, and then we got this to worry about. So before we start tightening everything, we need to fix up this a little bit. Doesn't have to be pretty, but you just don't want those overlaps right there. A couple small overlaps isn't bad. You know, it makes the drum look nice. So whatever way you finish this part, just keep in mind, that's the way it's gonna dry. So before you tighten it, make sure that's how you want it. And then this is where we got some pins that are gonna come into play. So I haven't seen anybody put pins on this part, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't hurt. You know what I mean? do 
is get the big big overlaps out of the way first or easy to make it easier so it's you know you can handle it better. This piece we might have to use pins a little bit earlier. Okay. So anyway, we start from here, pull this tight. Next, that's here. So what I like to do is I like to pull it, and then you'll find it. Pull it, and pull this one. Same thing, come this way. main part I'm thinking for me right now isn't so much making it look pretty but you want to get tight and you don't have to tighten it real tight because it's gonna dry and it's gonna get tight tighter after you tighten it Now we're at the end. Fix it again. Just keep fixing it as you go, man. So now, take the end, we'll go under, so under this one where we started from, where we got the tie, so that will be this two, set of two right here. Go under, pull it through, do that. yeah, it must be quite a bit. The more I get into this freaking, the more I should know what I, what I can get away with using, like the minimum, you know what I mean? So I don't have to use too much. Especially working with high, buying and freaking selling freaking for high. Right. That's a lot of freaking money. So now, well, if you're not careful about wasting, I'm gonna center this. I'm gonna make it come back to the center. That's good. So we got, so what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna go every two. So this one, we can't do three, because then I'll be three there, and I'll be two here. Three, three, and then one. So that's not gonna work. So we need to do two. Two, two, and two. So that's gonna be this across handles. So you're gonna wrap it six times here. I bet you I can almost cut half of this, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna work with it.
adjust to the more the handle, the more I know it's gonna freaking want to freaking not open on me. So yeah, speaking of freaking putting energy into a drum or any kind of piece that you're doing, I wouldn't say it's good to get frustrated. You know what I mean? It happens, but you know what I mean? As long as you calm yourself down. So since we're only doing two instead of four like the other one is, I think we might be able to get away with doing more than six, but we'll see. First handle. It's gonna be a pretty skinny handle, but but to save some time, who knows? The person who buys this might not even use it for use. You know, it could be just ending up hanging up on the wall. So before I go any further, I'm gonna start putting pins or not pins, but these. What the frick are these called again? Clips.
lost them anyway. Close pins, is that what they're freaking called? This way. Drying up on us. Not to the frustrating point though, man. Keep it cool, keep it cool. Do it with one hand if you got to. Yeah, I'm standing up again, man. Yeah, this is way too much. But the good thing about that having too much is the more you go around, the, the lot, the lesser this is going to be. One way to look at it, I guess. All right guys, so here we go. We have to finish product. So what, what had happened was, so I had uh, quite a bit of storage on my iPhone. So I recently started doing TikTok and then, you know, I've been saving videos, sharing them to Facebook and stuff like that. And then just not deleting them after I share them. But yeah, anyways, like it stopped you see where it stopped somewhere as i'm not too sure where it stopped yet but we'll see but i'm about to start editing this video so anyways i don't know what we didn't get but we got it finished uh so we'll see where's the starting point Where here is it it's got to be right here this is the starting point so yeah, this is the one with only one. It's a little thin, but it should be all right. This stuff's pretty strong, Al-Qaeda anyway. So I got the pins and it's all ready to dry. And I just got these extra pins right here on these, just to kind of, cause these are still, what do you call that? Malleable, is that the right word? You know what I mean? They're, they're still workable so 
you can kind of put the pins if you got extra pins to kind of like just keep some stuff down like if there's parts sticking out you can keep it down and the way i tied it was i used some needle nose pliers let's see where i think it's this one right here so yeah i tied it right here around this left piece after i got done wrapping them so each each um handle is wrapped six times and then you go around the left bring it up and you start your other one wrap six times go around the left wrap it around and then come down and then i did that six wraps wrapped it around twice and then i wrap put it in there i hit it in there so you really got to tie this as long as it's tight you keep it tight like all the way through and then you know once it dries wherever the last piece is it's going to stick so anyways you don't want it sticking out because they can get pretty sharp depending on how you cut it so you know use these and i put them in there a little tricky but i mean it was my first time so i got it pretty easy so you know what i mean all you gotta do is find a good point shove it in there you know slowly wedge it in there but yeah anyways there it is not too bad definitely took less time this time but i started it late so but yeah there it is guys should be dry tomorrow for the most part when i wake up in the middle of the day tomorrow it'll be pretty freaking dry but Hope you guys liked, don't forget to like, I mean, hope you guys, yeah, liked, don't forget to like and subscribe. Just too used to saying that, guys, but yeah, it's getting late for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if you like. Till next time, guys.